This is hardware details of PS1, which is pretty low. And if you want to compare it with nowadays computers, that is too lower than a potato PC. Let's name it Potato Plus. At the previous video, we learned how to install PS1 emulator on our PC. In this video, we are going to learn how to improve PS1 games quality. Let's go. The first thing that I'm going to talk about it is how to open the dock station. The normal and the typical way that we are going to open this is we need to go to the folder that we extract the dock station, double click on it to launch. But I'm going to create a shortcut of that and put it on my desktop instead. To do that, right click, press on show more options and hit on create a shortcut. It is available in here. If you use Windows 10, you directly go to this window and simply click on create a shortcut. You can drag and drop with this way. You're going to copy that. Or if you press Ctrl X on your keyboard and hit Ctrl Y, you will simply cut the shortcut that you create in here. If you double click on it, you jump to the dock station. If you right click and press pin to taskbar, you always have the dock station on your taskbar. The second thing that I'm going to talk about is how to improve PS1 game video quality. As an example, if I launch this Tekken 3, and hit on the load state because I actually played that one. We will receive this quality. Go to the settings. On the settings, we need to jump to the enhancement. We go to the enhancement. At the enhancement, on here for you, it is right now maybe on 2x or 4x. If you set it as automatic based on Windows size, you will receive a better quality. At the internal resolution scale, we need to click and set it for example as 5x if you have a higher gpu and cpu requirements you can set it as 4k i set it as 1080p which is 5x and if you want you can select automatic based on your window size the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the display on here we need to enable show fps show emulation speed and enable the vsync 2 you need to enable this option. Why I enable show emulation speed and show FPS. Right now, if I resume the game, let me hit on the space button to resume the game. At the top part, we will see game speed and the frame FPS of the video. As you can see, it is right now on 100%. The game speed is on 100%. And the FPS is 59 175 something like this which is okay if you see lags while playing and when you play the game speed becomes less than 100 and the color of that becomes red right now is white it becomes red you need to go to the enhancement and change this into a lower place such as for example 4x 3x which is 720p you need to do that but i don't actually think this happens to you maybe it happens into a potato pc after these things goes well you need to again go to the display and disable these two options don't disable the vsync it is a good option let be enable we can play most of ps1 games with our friends so we need another game controller so how to enable that one we simply go to the settings in here click on the controllers go to your controller 2 which is it types not connected and here you need to choose analog controller not the analog joystick you need to choose the control one at the auto mapping find your controller right now just my first controller is connected you need to hit on the second controller that you connect and it will auto map the things that are actually in here if it didn't auto map the game controller that you connected i told you how to fix it at the previous video so if you want you can watch that one. if you want to go deep into the old days you can enable crt option to enable that one you need to go to the settings in here find post processing in here enable post processing after that hit on the add and enable crt ladders as you can see crt ladder is enabled if you want you can customize it and if you make a mistake by customizing that one you can hit on restore defaults right now the crt option is enabled right now crt option is disable enable disable enable disable this is the whole difference if you actually don't like the CRT option, you need to just disable post processing or if you want, you can click in here and hit on the remove. You can also add another option on this step. For example, if you press on add, click on simple flip. So if you want to see the changes, I resume the game and our taken tree is flipped. If you don't like it, hit on that and 
press on the remove right now it's the time to do some more advanced settings i'm going to customize hotkeys for myself so i go to the settings in here go to the controllers and click on the hotkeys the hotkeys that i recommend you to set on your game pad are these the first one is open pause menu you can change it with joystick start button i just simply customize them for myself you can change the fast forward which is the second one to lt plus r1 hold both of them click in here hold both of them and i also create another shortcut for myself which is save a state number one in here you will see load game state one save game state one customize it with lt plus x so if you have this save state shortcut when you reach into a hard point of the game or in a boss level something like this you hit on the save state play the game if you game over you need to load the state save state and the load says these are the things that i told you at the previous video and if you do any mistakes you need to click on restore default so all of the hotkeys will be restored as the default as you can see they becomes like keyboard tab keyboard escape i'm going to show you another cool menu so if you resume the game if you hit on escape on your keyboard you will see this new menu in here if i hit on resume game the game it will be resumed loaded state save the state the which we saw them i go fast food and the cheat list if you hit on the cheat list you'll see different cheat lists which are appear and if you want you can use them i close it toggle analog game properties save a screenshot change disk settings and close the game if you press on close the game the game it will be closed if you go to the settings you can enable gpu and cpu usage as an example when i enable it and when i enable my cpu usage at the top right of our screen i'm going to see cpu and gpu usage it is good for monitoring the percentage usage of your cpu and gpu after you monitor that you can easily disable them on here go back and close the game okay i just wanted to exit and save the states now it's the time to talk more about the games if you go to the settings go to the game list you can actually add another folder that you have any ps1 games on this directory you just simply hit on the plus choose the folder that you have ps1 games on it actually i don't have any folder that contains ps1 and i recommend you to put all of your ps1 games into the same directory but i just set a folder which i don't actually even have any ps1 games on it and hit on select folder hit press on the yes and if i press scan for new games if i have any ps1 games it, they will be show to me right there because i don't have it i right click and hit on the remove maybe you will see this menu the game catalog menu like this with the list type view and if you want you can see the images in here you can make the picture large and small but you won't see this taken catalog like here or any game that you have you won't see the actual game catalog you just see a game name on it you need to simply go to your browser type your game name and after your game name you need to type cover art okay as an example i choose actually this one which it has playstation you need to save it i save it on my desktop so i'm not going to download it in here right click and press set cover image go to your desktop or any place that you save your file click on it because i actually have a cover image it says one of the cover images are exist do you want to replace it i hit on the yes but for you you won't see this one okay let's again launch the game i'm going to talk about the games more i go to the load state i know that you won't see your game full screen like me so how to enable this full screen option you need to go to settings hit on the general at the general you need to choose the start full screen this is the first thing you need to do enable this option let me enable and you need to go to the display in here at the aspect ratio you can choose a search to fill auto if you hit on the auto it is based on our game which is native and it will detect from the game i'm going to resume the game if you hear the game sound instead of me i'm going to apologize but i'm going to show you 
for that I do this I'm going to show you the difference you can press on custom and in here type the resolution that you want I set it as custom and type 920 1080 I think this one shows the quality better than the previous ones and it is too better than a stretch to feel right now I'm going to show you the difference We have other options. The aspect ratio is a personal thing. I just told you the difference of them and you can choose one of them that you actually like. I really like the custom. If you go to the BIOS and enable the fast boot option, you won't see the PS1 game logo after launching a game sometimes and for some games fast boot option didn't actually work and you will see the logo i don't know why it depends on the games and it depends on the programmings that docu station did and the ps1 games did now it's time to talk more about the nostalgia memory card as you can see we have two memory card slots in here you can share your memory cards with your friends you can create the backup of that and do many other kind of things the memory card type is separate card per game. What it actually means? We have different options, but let be this one. B, I mean enable this one. What it means? For example, for Tekken 3, you have an exact memory card. So all of the activities that you save, all of the SH that you are on Tekken 3 is going to save on a single memory card. This is your memory card's pass. I'm going to go to that pass. As you can see, I played two games and I have two memory cards in here if you copy this memory card into another place it means that you create a backup and you want if you want you can share it with your friends and if you want to receive a memory card you just simply copy your memory card that you receive on this pass if you want go to the directory simply you need to press open directory you will simply go to that location if you hit on the memory card editor you can move share and do these kind of things for example move a save game from a slot number one to a slot number two these look like the playstation one memory card options but in another ui i mean in another user experience but it actually looks like that one the thing i need to talk about it is you need to go to the enhancements in here enable wide screen hack when we enable wide screen hack in some games like the crash car i mean crash bandicoot crash 3 i don't know something like this was the name so you need to race with the cars at some places we will have a wall which is fake and this is the road to achieve the winning point easily so if you enable wide screen hack you will see the wall and go there now it's the time to talk about the fun part of gaming achievements as you can see if you go to settings hit on the achievements you can create an achievements for yourself so what is that for example you play taken three and after you pass a mission you will receive an achievements in a normal way you don't see that you need to enable it so you need to log in into an account so the website is in here just simply click on this blue text which is red to achievements.org you need to sign up an account in here Signing off on this website is too easy and it makes playing PS1 games fun. Hit on the sign up, username, email, confirm email and password. Let me fill this gap. I check the captcha and I click on I agree to the terms, conditions and create the user. So it's the time to sign in. But before that, you will receive an email which sent to you. You need to confirm the installation based on the mail that you have for me i have gmail so i go to my mail i receive a mail from this website you will see a link click on there and your sign up will be complete right now if i hit on the sign in i will sign in into my account as you can see this is your profile because i don't actually have even an achievement on here i don't see anything but if you play connect your docket station with this retro game website if you do any achievements it will be appearing here 
my last activity is one second ago and i'm a new member on this website to connect this website with the docker station go to the settings in here hit on the achievements and hit on the login type your username and type your password and hit on the login right now i logged in and i need to hit on enable achievements icon if you are a top gamer you can enable the hard code mode when you enable this option you won't be able to use save state cheats i mean you won't use the cheats and you also don't be able to use on game fast speed i'm not a hardcore gamer or tough gamer i just wanted to play the ps1 games for fun so i disabled it the final thing that i'm going to talk about it is audio i recommend you not to change anything at the audio part because when you change anything at this audio part you will receive lots of problems this is my experience all done all done in this video we learn advanced settings of the docker station in this video i'm going to tell you how to boost your old laptop or pc speed if you want you can watch that one see you on the next one